¿Qué tal familia? Me llamo Karma y bienvenidos a mi canal Sí, estamos en otro vídeo de Genshin Impact Pero esta vez os traigo algo diferente Algo que todos los que jugamos a este juego lo escuchamos Y no es la bronca que te tira tu madre por estar jugando todo el día Sino que son las voces de los personajes ¿Pero os habéis hecho alguna vez la pregunta de quiénes son estos actores? ¿Cómo se llaman? Pues tranquilos que aquí os traigo el vídeo que te solucionará esa duda. Así que si quieres saber quiénes están detrás de las voces en inglés de los personajes de Genshin Impact, ¡atento chaval! ¡Dentro vídeo! The skies here are full of stars, but they aren't the same as the ones seen from my home. I wonder if the fates of people from Tevat are also related to their constellation. We can discuss matters that fall outside of our contract, too. After all, I have been on this land for a time, and have come to know a thing or two. Of course, I do hope you can do some things for me as well. That would only be fair. Connection between us is too strong. Even if you wanted to, it's too late to sever it. Hmm? You've never thought to sever it. Ah, <sighs> this eternal dance of demon subjugation. My fight goes on. Comrade, a word of advice. Don't go yelling stupid things in the heat of battle. They might sound good in your head, but if you think about it, they make no sense at all. I'm talking about things like, I'm on fire. That's the last thing we want. Fire leaves behind nothing but ashes, and you must survive at all costs. See before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Not bad. Be it chess or combat, you always seem to surprise me. <laughs> Working with you is quite the novelty. So, I look forward to continuing to work with you, partner. Actually, the petrified trees you have come across in domains aren't that ancient. Truly ancient trees usually grow to around one or two miles in height. Oh, and there's a kind of large spider that lives around their roots. If you tie one up in cape jasmine and lemongrass, and sprinkle on some cardamom, smoke it for a few hours, you get a fragrant taste that's simply... unforgettable. Every time I get on stage, I always start to doubt myself. Can I really heal every person in Mondstadt? But I look at you now, and I feel that as long as we keep marching forward, maybe one day I might... With authority over a thousand comes responsibility to a thousand. Rex Lapis knows the meaning of hardship better than anyone else in Liyue. He has seen everything that has happened from ancient times to the present day, and yet he was forced to give up his entire life. Every time I return from a long journey and I see the Lapis Glades, I'm reminded that I'm almost home. The scenery out on the open ocean gets familiar real quick. Sure, they're birds of prey, but seeing them fly so freely is heartwarming. My left eye? It is the all-seeing Algdever Erthalung, which reveals all that is true in the world. As to the question of why I conceal it, well... Would you willingly bear the agony of piercing to the heart of all truths? Furthermore, the world would lose much of its appeal if wholly stripped of delusion and falsehood. <laughs> the Historia Naturalis Liwa has an entry about a waterborne plant called the Horsetail. It claims that the Horsetail is a medicinal herb that stands alone on the banks of Dihua Marsh. Its color is that of the clouds at sunset. Apparently, if you grind it into a powder and mix it into your ink, it makes your writing water-resistant. <sighs> Captain Eula Lawrence, Spindrift Knight, Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. I extend to you my greetings. Huh? What's that? Yes, Lawrence, the evil aristocrats of historical infamy. Oh, we're still very much evil. Just look at me. I'm infiltrating the inner ranks of the Knights of Favonius. All as part of a diabolical plan to exact our revenge and reclaim our former glory. Rock and roll came to Leo from Fontaine. So I guess you could call it a new thing. But it's not too hot around here. Most think it's an awful racket not fit for human ears. 
And that's why I appreciate everyone who does come listen. <laughs> Just now. Why? Why did you not ask me to protect you like the last time? Is this the power of the Animal Archon? But I am no longer part of the Four Winds. <laughs> you dared on the guise of an Adeptus in one's presence. But as for the matter of one's present location, one could have sworn that one was dozing off to sleep at Wang Shu Inn not a moment ago. Wait. That must be it. Of course it must. <laughs> as expected of an adeptus such as oneself. One must indeed be in a dream. Dane. Danesleth. Oh, I thought you were just a couple of pests that stumbled in here by mistake. So, you are with Danesleth, that constant annoyance in our affairs. Did he send you here to die? His resistance against the Abyss has gone nowhere for a long time. You'd like to know more about me, you say? Well, as you see, I am but a wandering samurai that you could have run into just about anywhere. I have a very keen sense of hearing. My ears pick up all sorts of sounds. The wind through the mountain passes. The parting clouds. The sound of foxes chewing on apples in the forest. For the gliding champion of Mondstadt. I'm a pro at hunting, you know. How about I show you some of my skills? Or even better, how about a little competition? Outrider Amber, reporting for duty. Just say the word if you ever need my help. This is your team? Cool. I like the vibe. I'm Bennett, leader of Benny's adventure team. Any chance we could team up? Please? Weather is not bad today. Oh crud, I jinxed it. Now it's bound to rain. Don't stand too close to me, or you might get hit by lightning too. You have my complete and full support. Of course, if your path ever deviates from justice, I will not hesitate to point it out. I swear by this sword, Victory shall be yours. I am Jean, the Dandelion Knight, requesting approval to join your party. From this day onwards, my honor and loyalty lie with you. Let me show you a thing or two, lest we let your efforts go to waste. <laughs> I can see how hard you've been working today. Let me think of a way to reward you. Keep me company for a while. There will be plenty of time for work later. If you ever need me, let me know. Let's not make this a transaction relationship. Oh? Well, if you're concerned about keeping things professional, maybe you can find more use for me on the front lines. How about it, boss? <laughs> Just don't feel intimidated by what I can do. Kaya, Knight of Favonius, please allow me to join you on your journey. Guarding you on your journey sounds far more entertaining than any of the usual Favonius stuff. I have iron claws and teeth of thunder. I protect you. You smell... nice. Let's hunt. You are strong. Like a wolf, I like to hunt with you. We catch a lot. I'm actually highly allergic to cats. I start sneezing as soon as they enter the vicinity, and... Uh, 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 apparently I can't even think about cats without sneezing. Do you think there's a cure for this monstrous affliction? I like to drink, and I like the wind. Oh, if only there was such a thing as wind-brewed cider. Let's go jumping in puddles and see who can make the biggest splash! Good morning. 
Can I come play with you today? Please? I want to go on an adventure. At the Knights of Favonius building, you're not allowed to blow up the walls. Shame. It would make getting out of solitary confinement way easier. But if I did so much as try to blow up the wall, Jean would make sure Clean never sees the light of day again. That's what Jean said. Kaya told me. Dear Animal God, please make Clee's bombs blow in the right direction and only blow up bad guys. The end. I am devoted to what I do, but make no mistake, I devote myself freely. A maid, to me, is the most liberating job there is. I'm a chef, a gardener, a warrior, a guide. I can be anything you need me to be. Good morning. Breakfast is served. I will be on hand the whole time. Should you find that anything is not to your taste, please do not hesitate to let me know. Ah! No! Stay back! Don't come over here! No, no, it's nothing personal. It's just that this experiment is highly volatile and might cause an explosion. I'm Sucrose, a researcher of alchemy. I heard you've been to a lot of places, so I was wondering if you... <sighs> what am I saying? It's only our first time meeting, I shouldn't trouble you. But, if you're willing, I'd love to hear any stories you have about your adventures. I'd really like that. The work of the astrologer is to show people what fate has in store for them, and that's exactly what I do. There will always be those, however, who are unable to accept what they're told. I am Astrologist Mona Magistus, meaning the Great Astrologist Mona. If it is divination you seek from me, then I ask you respect my name by learning it wholly, here and now. Astrologers must rid themselves of material desires. Only by ridding oneself of clutter can one see the true world around them. Be it simple price negotiation or a full-blown trade war, momentum and bargaining chips are but minor factors. To win, you need to be first to find out what cards your opponent is holding. Gamblers always place their bets on the next dice roll. But the bankers always have the last laugh, and they never touch a single die. I am Ningguang, Tianxin of Qixing. You wish to trade? You be my personal bodyguard, and I will show you how to get ahead in Liyue. Lunch is ready! Come and get it while it lasts! <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Xiangling. I'm a chef from Liyue. My favorite place is the chicken. I mean, the kitchen. Oh, I practice so hard, but I still get nervous when introducing myself. <laughs> My favorite thing to eat is... Whatever exotic ingredient I haven't tried yet. No, I'm not dodging the question. That's my honest answer. Singcho, at your service, my liege. I humbly trust that even one such as I, a mere bookworm, may yet prove to be of some utility under your wise leadership. Nice. I don't often get a chance to speak with such formality. It felt pretty good. If my calculations are correct, Wanwen Bookhouse is due to receive a batch of new releases today. Might we add a small detour to our adventure? Great weather for practicing martial arts, but perfect weather for reading. Hey, what's that ridiculous look for? You look as if you're trying to decipher some strange text written on my forehead. There are rumors abound concerning evil spirits in Liyue, but not all have truth to them. In fact, some strange commissions wind up having nothing to do with them at all. My name is Chang Yu. 
My family has practiced the art of exorcism in Liyue for many generations. Fate has been generous in allowing my path to cross with that of your distinguished self. Oh, no! My services are free of charge! It's time for you to sleep now. I will do my stretches. Do not watch me, please. I am Chi Chi. I am a zombie. And I... Forgot what comes next. I like coconut milk, but I don't know what it tastes like. I am Kuching, Yuhung, of the Liyue Chising. We live in an era of change, as the old order that has existed for a thousand years is about to be rewritten. Join me. Let us bear witness to this historical moment. Diona, bartender of the cat's tail. I charge a hefty fee for private events. Huh? You didn't come here for a drink? Hmm. Then I accept your invitation, I suppose. I, I, I wasn't waiting for you. I just happened to be resting. Ah! Oh, um, I'm not shaking. I'm not. Oh. Yeah? Now just why might you be looking for me, hmm? Oh, you didn't know? I'm the 77th director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, Hu Tao. Though by the looks of you, radiant glow, healthy posture... Huh, yes, you are definitely here for something other than that which falls within my regular line of work, aren't you? Listen, disciple. If you've got a problem you can't handle, then I'm the one for the job. But if you're looking for prayer, you'd better find some other sister. Huh? You're not a disciple? Don't we have a job to do? <sighs> what a nuisance. This will slow things down. Welcome to Naganohara. My name's Yoimiya. Just let me know if you need anything. We have kushikatsu, egg roll... Wait, no, no, we're not a restaurant. Oh, we make fireworks! <laughs> like these, see? Sparkling, crackling little fireworks. Fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. If we've got nothing else to do, why don't I tell you a story? Sayu, Shumatsuban, at your disposal. Phew, but if you don't need me right now... <sighs> I'm gonna grab some sleep. Nope, no need to tuck me in. I need the extra room to grow into. Seems like I should have just stayed in bed today. <sighs> About those books in the restricted section that Lisa mentioned, have you ever wondered what sort of books might be kept in there? Perhaps it contains books not suitable for children? <sighs> Sure would be nice to spend a night at the Goth Grand Hotel. Everyone says that Mondstadt is the land of the wind. But I wonder which direction the seasonal winds come from. I am Sangonomiya Kokomi, organizer of the Resistance and also the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island. Perhaps it's the first time you're hearing that title. To put it simply, I'm the person currently in charge on Watatsumi Island, which is also the home front of the Resistance. I've actually heard all about you from Beido and Kazuha. I hadn't expected to find you join the Resistance, though. I'm sure you're well aware that torture is strictly against military regulations. If you are unashamed of such disgraceful action, then you are also unworthy of the Tenryo Commission itself. Do I make myself clear? Before I let my judgment get the better of me. He's in serious condition. Be sure he gets immediate medical attention. But remember, once he's recovered, it won't be long until I bring him right back. Leave this place. Capable of using elemental energy without a vision. You are an exception, it appears. Exceptions. The enemy of eternity. You will be inlaid upon this statue. Seize her under the decree. Next time, I will strike twice. Hi, it's me, Paimon! Hey, that's even worse than being a mascot! Paimon is not an emergency food! Aw, that's cheating! <laughs> Wait, Paimon's not a pet! Does Paimon no longer satisfy your Paimonial needs? 
A traveler, you say? Why are you traveling? That's as good a reason as any. Sit down over there, then. It's indeed a good thing to have someone accompany you on your travels. My name's Dainsliff. I suppose you have some business with me?